Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to paint this crown. I'm going to show you how to paint this sugar crown. And I'm doing it because I know that a lot of people don't find painting easy. So I've made the sugar crown really days, like a day before and the things I added on it are dry, the edges are dry to some great extent. And so I'll be showing you how to paint with this gold dust this is the dust that i'll be using to paint and i also have my brushes here with me different sizes of brushes with different bristles soft bristles and that is what i'll be using i also have this gin right here so this is chelsea gin for those of you that stay in nigeria you know this i also have my paint palette here to put my dust in to dilute so i'll be starting right away putting the gold dust in my paint palette after which i would add the gene and i will go ahead with my paints and now i know that some people have other things they use edible spirit and all of that but i prefer this because it gives my paintings um a kind of shine that i like and it works better for me and you cannot just use anything like i'm just gonna share your backstory <laughs> okay so first of all i'm mixing i'm going right ahead to mix and let me not forget to say that you don't need to put too much of whatever you're using to mix like for this gene i am not putting too much at all if you put in too much it becomes watery and when you paint it doesn't shine it doesn't stay firm you'll be seeing the white parts in fact you just know from looking at it that this thing is watery so don't make it watery add just a little bit of alcohol gin vodka whatever it is you're using to paint even if it's edible spirits or water you can use although i've not tried using water with this before so this is how i'm painting and i'm going sideways when i paint i like to go sideways except for things like this that have a particular shape and pattern but basically i paint sideways it gives me a better result than painting um from top to bottom like up down up down so i like the sideways movements and it is effective it is good okay so it might not look like it makes any difference but try painting up using the up and down stroke and try I'm painting using the right or left or left to right stroke and you would see the difference okay so this is what i do i love it that it works for me and i'm just going to go right ahead to paint and then i will come back to share the backstory like i said So I actually made a sugar crown before this. I had a cake for a certain day and I made the sugar crown like three days ahead or two days ahead. And I used a certain type of alcohol that I've not used before. I couldn't find the one that I usually use, this one. And so I tried using another one. And to save me time, I made the crown and immediately I finished making the crown without allowing it to dry. I painted it. Now, this is not my first time of doing something like that. I don't think it's my first time, but by the following day, <laughs> it was just such a mess. And I had a video of this, but I deleted it not so long ago. I think it was yesterday or two days back because I wasn't just satisfied with the video. Pardon me. I wanted to share it, but after looking at it critically, I was like, nah, I don't like this. So I deleted the video, but I hope to be able to bring another to you pretty soon so this i couldn't film because it was short timed it was like a day before i used it or so i just had to make it quick and i didn't have the time to film it so what happened with that was that the following day i don't know if it was the weather or i doubt it was the weather i think it's that gene that i used because like i said this is not my first time of trying that but by the following day all the arcs and the spaces all around they had just bent fallen apart cracked it was just in a bad shape and this has never it has never happened before so i don't even know what could have happened but my suspect is that or my thoughts would be that the whatever i use for mixing the gene i use for mixing is the culprit right so see how far i've gone with the painting this looks good now i'm going in with my smaller brush to go in behind the molds the i don't call, i won't call it appliques but let me just say the mold the silicone mold um 
placements. <laughs> I'm trying to get the right words, the right words. Okay, so these placements are have some spots that my big brush can't get into so i will go in with my smaller brush going behind going to the corners and then paint it so that everything has a nice finish and it's something that you should do because when you're done painting and you think you're done you're through you'll be seeing some white patches so to avoid this or to help you with this get a smaller brush that you can use to just touch up some parts please i hope you're enjoying this video please destroy and smash the like button <laughs> if you're enjoying it and getting value from it please smash the like button and please drop me a kind comment okay drop me a comment just say golden golden crown beautiful crown just drop me something please just let me know but it has to be a kind comment you know that we keep this environment positive and good we share positive vibes and no negativity allowed okay so please like this video and also share with those that you know would find this video helpful okay so please go ahead and do that thank you and then if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel join the family we have a goal we're heading somewhere by december we should have hit 8k please let's make this happen okay let us make this happen so subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications thank you So this is how I paint beautiful people. I work with um, this gold dust or edible gold, E-D-A-B-L-E, -E, edible gold. That's the name of the brand I also work with. I decided to just try it out when I went for an exhibition. So this is it. I'm done. Remember to dilute with the right proportion or amounts of um, gin or vodka or whatever you're using or edible spirits don't put so much else it will be too light and then do the sideways stroke instead of up and down when you're brushing and also have a brush with a tiny small bristle that you can use in to go in between the corners so thank you so much for watching i hope that you found this video helpful and valuable as well i'm going to be showing you the picture that i use all the cake that i use this crown for in a bit and also some cakes that I've written with in gold. Now this is it. This is the cake that I used it for. And also when I do my gold inscriptions, this is just the way. So thank you for watching. Until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay safe, and stay blessed.